Hello my love, this week I am sharing a personal project of cycling an old photo frame that I've had for a while into a shadow box. But before that I've got quite a few JB things going on this week for those of you that want an update. First of all, we've got the art bundle sale back on. This is only for a couple of days. It is $5,000 worth of art classes and resources from 85 artists. I personally buy everything in bundles from food to beauty products to online goodies because when you're given offers like this it's just it doesn't make sense to buy one class for the price for what you can get hundreds for. These are the original bundles, the original art bundles. This volume has my Luna manifesting with the moon journaling class in it so if you want that for a few pennies more you can get hundreds more art classes. It's a mega mega steal available until the second i believe and then it's gone for good that bundle then the super studio challenge which i hinted at last week is a june event but the group is open for you to join on the first of may same time as the new monthly challenge goes live in the monthly challenge group which will be a time capsule art journal page i am super excited about this challenge it's so me i love things like time capsules i love nostalgia and i love manifesting and intentions and, and planning and all of this so this is my perfect project wrapped up in an art journal page so if you're on journal workshops both of them are something to look out for on the first sometimes you just want some glitter you know and then if you're on my personal newsletter list i have created for you a video vault of dozens of private videos and i also created a downloads page as well of ebooks and goodies that i've always given to my newsletter crew if you are not on the list i will put a link in the description and in the cards and you will get access to both of those exclusive little portal of goodies if you are already on my personal newsletter list i sent an email out a couple of days ago saying private access video vault in the subject line so go through and have a look for that if you haven't seen it and you will get links to both the video vault and the downloads page in that email if you can't find it check your spam folders and all of that but that definitely went out to the whole newsletter list so that's the goodies wrapped up let's get into the project that i did this week which i was super excited to do because i've had this photo frame lying around in my studio for so long you know one of those things that you think i will use that so i'm not throwing it out but it just sits there for years that is this thing because it's quite a deep photo frame i thought it would be brilliant for a shadow box now many of you have been loving my magical makes as some of you have been calling it magical when i use um, natural elements such as herbs or flowers or stones so i thought i'd share as i did this project of a chakra shadow box now chakras i think everybody at least has a basic understanding of what chakras are they are from the vedas which is a 5,000 year old text the seven corporeal chakras which is what i'm going to be focused on in this project first chakra at the base of the spine is the root chakra and the top chakra at the top of your head is the crown chakra and between the root and the crown you just basically go through the rainbow you start off with red which is root chakra it's about your security then the sacral chakra is about creativity and sexuality and that's orange and then you've got the solar plexus chakra your navel which is yellow and all about empowerment then you've got your heart chakra which is green and about love <laughs> then you've got your throat chakra which is light blue and about your expression then your third eye which is in the middle of your forehead which is about intuition and then the crown chakra oh, and that's indigo sorry and then you've got the crown chakra which is purple and all about your connection to source so I've done a few chakra projects and I like to do one that incorporates all seven of these chakras as a balance, as a reminder of all of these different levels that we have within ourselves that we need to pay attention to and honour and address. If your self-expression is out of whack, you can often feel like you're not being heard, you won't be in yourself, you're being misunderstood. So you know the, there is truth based if you look at the chakras in our actual everyday lives the first chakra the root chakra is the basic fundamentals of having safety of security so there's truth there in that that is the foundation of life in order to have everything else 
flourish and grow and i remember very vividly like before i really paid attention to the chakras somebody once shutting me down not letting me speak basically calling me stupid and i literally felt it in my stomach like a gut punch maybe you've experienced that as well you know what i'm talking about about that central area being punched that's literally what it feels like when somebody shuts you up and that's because it's disempowering and that's your solar plexus so as well as this rainbow being beautiful i like to incorporate all of the chakras into projects to remind me to have balance between all of the chakras sometimes i can be really grounded and very connected to the physical so in the root chakra and then i'm not always that connected to the crown chakra to source you know guys i use everything <laughs> this is why none of these are yet thrown out I'm trying to figure out now what project I can use these two things that I've had to cut up <laughs> on. You want to see me with my beauty products. I scrape out every single little bit of those suckers. I'm going to save them to use on a journal page or something because although they're messy <laughs> gloopy and at the end of their lives that's still glitter and I'm going to use it <laughs> show her white for purple or amethyst for purple Maybe amethyst is an easier one some appetite on and some sapphires oh man Could get really fancy here so there's a balance between all of these things but to me balance doesn't necessarily mean things are in equal <laughs> distribution because that isn't life sometimes you are sometimes I am more away with the fairies and in my intuition my third eye and visualization and then other times I'm in the reality I'm in the safety and um, in my root chakra of the basic needs you know so I don't think balance means equal all of the time I just mean sometimes you'll be more in one space and then it means you need to go more into another space and that's just true of life, you know, sometimes you've got to balance work and play and not be too much in one area. Or divide your time appropriately between family and friends. Or how much creative time you give to yourself versus how much time you give to others. You know, all of these things are a balance and having projects to do with the chakras is something that really helps me. To remind myself of my own personal balance between all of the aspects of myself. So all of the chakras have their own colours and they have their own stones associated with those colours. I'm not going to go through what those are, but you know, they're out of my goody gemstone <laughs> stashes. And then for the centrepiece, I have a lot of crystal grid, mm, I guess you call them boards. And I've brought these over the years. I have a collection from Etsy, from eBay. So if you want them, please look on these places because I always get asked questions when somebody sees something like this and they're like, that's unusual. And you know, in five years time, people will still be asking. Honestly, just search crystal grid board in Etsy, in eBay, on Amazon. They are now everywhere. 10 years ago, I had to go hell and high water to get these things. Now they are everywhere. And a couple of weeks back, I did share with you a crystal grid that I was actually creating, but this time I'm just going to use one of the boards that has been lasered with the chakra symbols, because as well as colors, the chakras have symbols, they have mantras, they have mudras, they have absolutely everything you can imagine. <laughs> this one is that old that I squeezed it and the labels came off. <laughs> the yellowing old labels. Oh, <laughs> I still work on the fridge. Let's see, let's see, let's see. So I thought this board would be a great focal to have because it's got those symbols on it. I didn't want to paint it or cover it up, so I just glittered it up a little bit. Found a lovely little crown <laughs> for the crown chakra and just blinged up everything, basically. <laughs> as well as the gemstones, we've got metal studs, acrylic rhinestones, glitter, all the shebangle to really give this a lovely little piece of 
prettiness for one of my spaces. So that was my project for this week. I'm going to go off and do my time capsule art journal page for the monthly challenge now because that needs to get done. <laughs> what a time crunch for a time capsule page, <laughs> shock horror. Okay, so I will see you guys that are in the monthly challenge group over there on Sunday or I'll see you on the YouTubes next week. Much love everybody. Bye bye.